Caramelized onions are one of my absolute favorite ingredients to have in the refrigerator at all times. The best thing about them is you can make huge batches at any one time and leave them in your refrigerator for up to a week and use them whenever you need them. I put them on top of steaks, I put them on pizzas, in, uh, in sandwiches, in my frittatas or omelets. I just use them all the time and they're a great thing to have on hand. They add a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of zing to anything you make. You start out with a red onion. I peeled it and cut it in half and then I sliced it pretty thinly. So now we're going to cook it and I cook it with a little balsamic vinegar and some olive oil, a little bit of sugar to bring out the sweetness and a dash of salt and pepper. So let's go over to the stove and cook up a batch. To make your caramelized onions, use a nonstick skillet over a medium low heat. I'm going to start with my olive oil and add that to the pan. A couple of tablespoons. You want to coat the bottom nicely. And then I'm going to add my onions directly to the olive oil. It's one sliced red onion. But you can make as many as you want. You're going to keep these in your refrigerator. So make a couple, two or three onions at a time and just use a large pan to do those in. Now I'm going to add my balsamic vinegar. About a tablespoon for one onion. And a little bit of sugar. Probably about a teaspoon to bring out that sweetness. And salt and pepper. This is kosher salt that I'm using, about a teaspoon. And a few grinds of freshly ground black pepper. Now I'm just going to mix that all together. It's over a low heat. I want these to cook very slowly. You don't need to rush these. If you cook them too fast, they'll tend to get burned. So keep it on a low heat and just stir them occasionally and keep them moving around the pan so that they're evenly, they evenly brown. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes in total. All right, I think our onions are finished. They're nice and brown and really soft and delicious looking. I wish we could give you that smell over the video. You can hear it a little bit, but the smell is something else. So just put these in a Tupperware container and leave them in your refrigerator and use them whenever you want to. They're best brought to room temperature or warmed up slightly. It brings out the full flavor. Bon appetit. Mm.